Hinged PIP Joint Extension Blocking Orthosis. Here we will demonstrate how to make a hinged orthosis which will allow full flexion of the PIP joint but will block full PIP joint extension. Use a strip of Orphicast 6 cm wide and 10 to 12 cm long and a second strip of Orphicast of 3 cm wide. Cut the 3 cm piece in two lengthwise. Heat the 6 cm Orphicast and fold it in half lengthwise. Pass the material under the palmer side of the proximal and middle phalanges and pinch it together on the dorsal side. Immediately cut the material with curved scissors as close to the skin as possible. To avoid cutting the patient's skin, pull the material up and away from the patient while cutting. Flex the PIP joint of the finger in 30 degrees flexion during hardening time. Verify the correct position of the PIP joint with a joniometer. Remove the orthosis from the patient and trim the volar distal and proximal portions of the orthosis. Trim an opening on the palmar surface of the orthosis to free the flexion crease of the PIP joint. Cut a small V-shaped piece at both lateral edges of the opening of the PIP flexion crease. To make the first of a pair of hinges, take the smaller piece of Orphicast. After heating, roll the Orphicast on itself while exerting a firm pressure on the complete length of the Orphicast. Measure the length of the hinge and cut off the excess length. Heat both sides of the multicentric hinge. Heat the side of the orthosis where you'll stick the hinge and stick them both together. Repeat the same for the other side. Finally, cut the finger base of the orthosis in two by cutting from the tip of one lateral V over the dorsal side to the tip of the other V, thus enabling flexion. Try the orthosis on the patient and check the fit.